Hello, peoples. We're here in Quartzsite, Arizona. It is the day after New Year's, and I'm here at my secret location down here on BLM land. I'm going to head into town today uh, to get some water, but I'm also going to show you where to get free water, which I didn't know even existed until Stan told me. And we're going to go do some shopping and check out the grocery stores. We're going to check out the truck stops and we're going to do a cruise past a place where you can dump your tanks. So we're going to check out some stuff so that when you guys come to the RTR, you'll know where you can get water and dump your tanks and get groceries. So let's do it. Peeps, we're downtown Quartzsite. It looks like here, I don't see water pumps at the gas pumps. I also don't see any RV specific places. Now there is propane here on the left. Yeah, there's. I don't see anything for RVs here. It's just gasoline and propane. So if you need propane, you can get it here at the Love's Truck Stop. I'm going to show you something here at McDonald's. Something that most people won't tell you or don't know about. Okay guys, so here in the back of McDonald's are a bunch of unlocked dumpsters. So if you have just a little bit of trash to throw away, if you don't have like a whole bunch of trash, you can come back here and throw it. Now some of these say cardboard only. Bada bang, save yourself a trip to the dump. The dump is only open, I believe, Sunday through Tuesday until 2.30 p.m., something like that. Maybe it's Sunday to Wednesday. But the hours at times are very limited to, to go to the dump. And so the best place to go, and the place I went all last year, right here at McDonald's, go in and buy a cheeseburger and dump a bag of trash. Don't come here and dump tons and tons of trash. I mean, I had a little bag of trash that was only half full. Um, Cause if everybody comes here and dumps like tons and tons of stuff, they're probably gonna shut it down. But they've been doing this for years, having unlocked dumpsters back here. There's at least eight dumpsters, if not 10 dumpsters this year. Half of them are locked and the other half are unlocked. So take that as you will, it's a resource. You're gonna find a lot of people here sleeping in vehicles in the back of the parking lot. Uh, this seems to be the place to stop and take a nap. And now this guy's gonna pull out in front of me. So literally right next door, in fact, we don't even need to go out onto the main street, I don't think, is a pilot. So let's go over here. Stan tells me in the diesel lanes, there is free water. So we're going to go check that out. Oh, there's an RV there, so I think they know about the free water too. up and try another one. I'll tr do this quickly before a truck pulls up behind me. What the f man? You just walk you, sh you just walk right into me, you motherfucker. I'm backing up and he just walks right into the van. Like I'm not even there. Okay, peeps, I found free water. So it's this last diesel pump over here next to the building. You can see where I'm at. Now, don't drink this water. Uh, the unfiltered water here in Quartzsite is very salty. 
I do suggest putting a filter on your water. Putting the filter on it will help prevent, you know, issues in your hot water tank and stuff. So just, I'd suggest putting a filter on it when you fill up. So this is one way to get free water here, guys. Okay, the next place we're gonna go is Roadrunner Grocery Store. We're gonna go check that out. That's supposed to be the best place in town to get groceries without having to drive all the way to Parker or Ehrenberg. Or Blythe, I should say. Not a big bread selection. certainly was interesting to run into the RV geeks and the Roadrunner market. Um, I didn't want to bug them or nothing. I just thought that was funny. You know, this is the big place in Quartzsite to go shopping. It's the, one of the smallest grocery stores I've ever seen. So, yeah, the shame was there was, you know, there's really young people behind me in their 20s, and the girl probably was barely 24 years old. She goes, you guys accept EBT. It's like, Wow. Not we saw how lame the grocery store is. This is the best. Looks like I'm be doing the uh, hour trip to either Blythe, Albertsons and Blythe, or the 45 minute trip to Walmart up in um, Parker. Next stop is Rose's RV Park. That's where you can dump your tanks. I think it's only five bucks. So we're going to go find out. Okay, coming up here on the left is Rose's RV Park. Now, they have propane, water, and dump, and I think it said five bucks. So, so I wanted to check, basically want to pull over here, turn around and check the sign, because I'm quite sure that's what it said. Hot shower, five bucks. Right there, hot shower, five bucks. Hot showers, five bucks. Black water flush, three dollars. Pay here for showers. Okay, pretty cool. Pull throughs are beyond the trees. We're just gonna go ahead and turn around here. They got trash back there. RV dump and water back there. Uh, 
So there you go, guys. This is where you can get water, dump, propane, pretty cheap. This looks like the dump stations over here. So that is all the basic amenities. Uh, you get the free water at the pilot truck stop in the diesel lanes. Don't drink it. If you want drinking water, you can either buy it by the jug in, a, in any of the stores here, or you can go, they have um, the sparklets, reverse osmosis machines all over town. There's also RV pit stop. RV pit stop is the best place to go if you want bulk reverse osmosis water because it's like a quarter a gallon or something there it's really cheap it's good water that's where i got my water last year rv pit stop then you got rose's rv park right behind me for um, dumping your tanks and you can get propane in a couple places in town including the loves truck stop you can get propane here now i don't know which place is cheaper and there's pretty much everything you guys are going to need for quartzite now grocery shopping in town is it's expensive and very low selection. I'm, I'm kind of surprised there aren't more grocery stores here. So come into town prepared. Uh, you're gonna have to drive all the way to Ehrenberg, which is, it's at least half hour, 45 minutes to Ehrenberg. And then it's, I know it's at least 45 minutes up to Parker to, to the nearest Walmart. So keep that in mind when you come into town. Um, Stock up as much as you can on groceries. Come in with a full water tank. Come in with full propane because everything here is harder to get and more expensive. And when it comes time to the RTR, you're going to have 10,000 other people uh, coming in here to compete with you. Last year, they ran the well water so low at the RV pit stop that people were sucking up minerals into their tanks, into their fresh water tanks. So absolutely use a filter and fill up early fill up early don't wait don't drive out here in an empty tank and show up two days late to the rvr and get water because you're going to get you're going to wind up sucking up minerals and stuff and uh they they sometimes they raise prices and things like that on the limited supply so just be warned it's time to head back home so catch you in a bit odin commands you to like and subscribe and clean my litter box and if you own a Tesla, you can come back here into the Carl's Jr. parking lot and plug in your Tesla. There's a bunch of people just sitting there waiting for the cars to charge. Guess you won't be doing a lot of long tri trips in a Tesla without some serious waiting time. Hey, thank you for watching our video. If you liked it, be sure to subscribe, share, and like. And we'll see you guys next time. Say hi, Odin. Joe Lazaro, Pat.